loves, welcome back to the Hottie Life YouTube channel. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with me once again. I had it in my bones to shuffle for you guys and for the collective consciousness. So here we are. I'm going to quickly set a prayer of intention. While I'm doing that, you guys, try not to focus on any questions or problems that it is that you're dealing with or things that you want to be answered during this time that we have together. Just focus on protection, okay? We'll be able to cross that bridge when we get there when it comes to setting intention for this. Well, not setting intention, but when it comes to what it is that we're going to focus on for this reading. So I ask that you ground yourself with me. I ask that you call in your own angels and guides, your spiritual team that does want the best for you and looks out for you and protects you. This is always important when we're working with the spirits, just in general, for guidance, because you also want to tap into higher levels of discernment so that you can apply these messages where they are meant to go within your life. It can be easy to be led astray if you're not careful and if you don't set that intention for discernment, okay? So dear divine, I thank you for this moment here today. I thank you for the tarot that I'll be using as a tool in order to connect deeper with my intuition. I ask that you speak directly to me through the tarot I ask that you help strengthen and sharpen my intuitive gifts so that I can hear your voice and understand exactly what it is that you're saying with sharp precision, zero doubt. I ask that you protect those who are receiving this reading today I ask that you give them a message and that they are able to apply that message where it belongs in their life at the right time, the right divine timing that it's meant to be applied at their life, in their life. I thank you so much for the presence here today. It's an honor to be able to read for your people. It's an honor for me to show up for them and to have the strength to show up for them. I give you the credit and I thank you so much for this journey. Divine, there's a message that is that you wish to share. I ask that you share it with us now. What is it that you want the collective to hear? What do you want each and every single person here? What do you want them to know? What do you want them to receive? What do you want them to understand? Protect me as the reader and protect the viewer. Thank you. All right, collective. So go ahead and focus on whatever it is that you, that bubbles, bubbles up for you. I'm sure that that will be answered during this reading. And so, wait, wow, this card really wanted to jump out. Oh my God, Three of Swords. Okay, that card really wanted, it like literally was like fighting out. All right, so we're gonna put this here for now. Is there anything stuck to that? No. All right, what about the Three of Swords? At the base of this reading, we have Seven of Swords upright and Two of Wands reversed. I'm gonna sit with this really quickly because I do feel like there's actually a message here. One thing that's standing out to me is the two swords that are standing up in this card and the two of wands. These feel really, really connected right now. Two of wands is reversed. I feel like um, it's interesting because I'm getting a vision of like strength being gathered. Um, like your strength being gathered but it's like, um, I heard like that's what's prophesized. Like that, that was what was supposed to happen, that you're building your strength. 
but it almost seems like the opposite is happening. Um, for those of you guys that don't know, in, and when we're in the spiritual realms, when you move um, clockwise, you're almost, you're, you're energetically bringing something into your life. Something is gathering strength. When it's counterclockwise, it takes away from the strength. So something was prophesized or predicted to gather strength, but somehow right now, it's like the opposite is true and things are losing strength. They're losing momentum. For some of you guys, you're, you're, I heard the word aimless. You don't feel like you know where to go, which makes sense actually with two of wands reverse. Usually when the two of wands upright, we have the level of discernment, you know what I mean? Like the, the energy within us to, to look out on the horizon and, and ask ourselves, where to next? Where am I going next? I wanna see what is out there. I know that there's something out there for me. But two of wands reverse, it's like you took, there's like a step back or something that is that came in and kind of is like depleting or just pulling. I'm almost getting like a sucking energy, like something is sucking your energy Um, I heard an invisible force is sucking your energy. So this might be, this could be anything, honestly. This could be anything. It's just something that you're not seeing that starts to, that's pulling your, as I said that, the candle just popped. But something is pulling your, or pulling energy away from. It's the opposite of what was prophesied. It's the, for, from your perspective right now. Talk to me about that. So Spirit wants to say that something is pulling your energy are pulling energy away from what is this ten of pentacles Ooh. ten of pentacles just showed up and it feels like mm, it's like something sorry guys I can't even like get my finger to like Something that should be prosperous, something that should have plenty, just like doesn't. I don't know. Or like something stepped forward last minute. This could be, look at this. We have three of wands upright, and then we have ace of wands. So this has a lot to do with your energy. And at the base of this reading, we just had there's the chariot card here. So where we're going, I feel like there's actually an imbalance, you guys. I'm, I'm really getting a strong sense of imbalance as far as Sometimes it's like masculine, feminine energy, but um, feminine energy is seen as negative energy, meaning like not that it's bad, but it's like the void. And then masculine energy is positive, which is something that it's like contributing and giving into, like or giving to. There seems to be an imbalance where it's like something is like, I don't want to say maneuvering, but pulling like so honestly, guys, this is kind of giving me, also this might have to do with money or resources. I'm almost kind of getting spell work here, to be quite honest with you. It's like someone saw, like there's a, a potential that someone saw that you were doing something, doing well. And as soon as they saw that, they're like their own, Either they did a spell or so, this is the first message that's coming through, I'm hoping, because I don't want to spend a lot of time talking about. But anyways, um, so it's I, I am getting a strong sense that there's like spell worker here. Just the way that it is that I'm feeling this pull, like this pulling. It's like something that should have been a blessing or something that should be growing. All of a sudden, it starts to change direction. And it changed direction because there was a spell, there was an intention, there was a word like a, a something that was spoken or something that was said or something that was prayed over. And now it's like, should have been gaining strength, but now all of a sudden it's getting pulled in or sucked away from. It has everything to do with like energy, direction. I do want to say that if this is, um, sometimes people don't realize, right? So we live in like really spiritual sensitive times. So sometimes we don't realize how People may not, there's a lot of people, especially feminine energy right now, and, and males who are tapped into the like deep feminine energy, they don't realize the power of what they do. I'm, I'm even hearing like the words succubus. So it's like, I was actually talking about this with my friend, one of my friends, maybe like three weeks ago. 
I think it was like three weeks ago, but what is time at this point? But succubus energy is some like a feminine presence that uses sexuality to kind of pull and entice. So someone is either distracted by this or, and on a, okay, wait, I, I need to take a step back because, I, and I know this might sound crazy, but this is what spirit is showing right now. Um, and there's is a space where it's like the divine is in control, but there's a feeling of like, oh, like this again, like there's like another, we just live in really spiritually sensitive times. So people who don't even realize that they're, the things that they're thinking and how they're moving are actually really, I don't want to say powerful spells, but they come from such a dark, malicious space or selfish space that they don't realize like how they move and what they're saying to their friends and what they do or how they're moving and what they're like speaking and what they believe. It's like, they're not, it's so imbalanced because they're not praying enough. Like they're not protecting themselves enough. So they are vulnerable to being taken over by malicious energies. And that's just what they do. They move every day in the same, in the same way without any protection, without any blessing, without any spiritual, like good spiritual hygiene. So if this is how they're moving and there's all these like dark entities that are kind of roaming around the earth right now, like it latches onto people and they don't realize that like how they're like how their state of being right now acts as like a malicious spell. So they might not be witches or they may not be intentionally putting spell work on someone, but the way that their energy is and the way that they talk and the way that they move and what they believe in and the anger, the spite, the music that they're listening to, it acts as, it, I just heard like a counter curse, like, or like a curse, like it, counters things through curses is essentially what it is that I'm saying. The three of swords is here because divine is divine has power, right guys? Oh my God, this makes a lot of sense. And as I'm saying this, like I'm almost getting like shaky hands because like I want to like get my hands on this and like start working on it. That's always how I am. But the divine, I love that we're doing this right now because the three of swords is not so much, the, the three of swords is actually giving me the divine's energy of not disappointment, but like, it's like this is happening again. And spirit does not want to see good people hurting and suffering. Like, and it's like, but at the same time, you have to know when to go directly to the divine. You have to know, and you should go to the divine often and ask for pre protection, ask for prayers. It's not that the, the divine won't intercede on your behalf. It's just that it's in your best interest to know where it's coming from. So, of course, the divine doesn't want to see you hurting, but you have to call out and know that when things starts to reroute, don't take, don't absorb that and allow it to happen. You you really want to speak out and and counteract those blessings or counteract those curses and counteract that energy because there's an imbalance here. I, I really do see that there's an imbalance. It's like things were moving like all the energies were working to move forward and then all of a sudden someone said something or someone did something and now it's starting to pull the energy back and away from if this is a blessing like if this has to do with your career it's time for you to pray over your career it's time for you to set positive intention if you set positive and like if you set an intention lit a candle did a, wrote a petition or whatever the case like whatever it is or you prayed or whatever it is that you did you did it once, continue to do it, continue to speak blessings over because it's going to ultimately like, and this is not meant to freak you guys out. Like there's, there's never a moment where you should be afraid, but be aware, like be aware. There's never a moment that like, well, that's not what I was actually trying to say. What I'm trying to say is you, you're going to know through these op obstacles and oppositions that show themselves, um, you're going to actually be pulled closer to the divine during these moments and and even trust even further in your own intuition and your own magic like in your own magical doings and the power of your own word it's not that you're doing anything wrong or that anything like that you've done something bad and that's why your blessing is just delayed or that's why abundance started to dry out or that's why your relationship um, you know, whatever this is, it's the fact that there are some dark ass energies roaming this earth. I, I just feel like if you looked on social media for scroll through social media for like 15 minutes, you would be able to see, um, well, it depends on your, 
algorithm because mine kind of shows like good things a lot of the times, but I literally spend most of my time connecting with spirit. I talk to the divine all throughout the day. Um, but there's a lot of, if you go, go for a walk and you listen to music, you'll, whatever's trending and in the general collective right now, it's not positive. It's not spiritually uplifting. It's not, it's very dark and it's pulling people into the dark feminine, not in a good way. It's the dark feminine that makes you lost, that makes you abandon yourself, that uses sex in order to pull in and entice. So you have to counteract that. It's just the times that we're in, so don't be defeated by this. Look, Six of Swords, you just, there's a need to kind of like help yourself as you move, you know, move forward. You need to move out of the dark, back into the light. It's not so much you. I'm hoping that it's not so much you. If it is you, you got to be really careful about the music that is that you're listening to. It's funny that I'm saying this because that was actually one of the prophetic messages that came through, but I didn't get a chance to record it yet. Um, for those of you guys that don't know, I receive downloads throughout the day, and um, usually they're anywhere like under seven minute messages. Usually, sometimes they can be longer. I don't know why my hands are so itchy. Like I swear that it wasn't like that before. Um, this might have to do with like abundant. Yeah, guys, eight of wands, six of cups. It's so interesting. Something is really, I just heard like malignant, like something you, okay, hear me out. <laughs> I don't know how best to explain this. And I re I need to reiterate it because I need you to understand. There's a reason why you're here right now. People don't have to put a spell. I actually want to open this window to you guys. Like, I don't know why I just feel like my whole body's kind of like shaking. get some fresh air in here okay people don't have to claim themselves as a witch as a medical medical as a magical person or anything like that witchcraft itself is not inherently bad the intention behind the person is bad or good depending right so if you in today's times people have disconnected in a lot of ways it's not all people but a lot of people have disconnected from from the powers of the divine when it comes to protection, when it comes to clarity, when it comes to purpose, when it comes to love. So, and, and because they're not pursuing that, because I believe, in my belief, there was a renaissance, a good renaissance, where people started questioning Christian, like, not Christianity, but for example, look at Christianity, like, they started questioning, like, religion. Because evil people, malicious people, used, like, their, their intention was to use um, religion to kind of like control the masses, the people were aware to that and they started rejecting it. It wasn't so much the religion itself, these individual religions that are evil or malicious, it's the people that were will using it as a sword in order to hurt and to confine, to contain the masses, the people. So having said that, there was a renaissance, a reawakening of people. Oh my God, this little lizard, he's right here. You can't see him. Good for you, bud. I'm so distracted. Okay. Um, because of that, um, people started pushing away, but they also started exploring their spirituality. It just comes with the territory. It's not good or bad. It just is what it is. But when they, when people start rejecting it and pushing it away, they stop, they attribute everything that is connected to it to being the one thing that was bad. So this means that people may stop praying. They may stop um, using Psalms in order to protect themselves or whatever it is that they do because it was abused. So they start, for that reason, over time, if you're not spiritually arming yourself every day or often, you're going to be another, another person who's kind of walking the earth without a really strong sense of spiritual protection. On top of that, people are exploring, which is a good thing, don't get me wrong, people are exploring different religions and different practices and different rituals and different gods and different spirits and all those different things, which is awesome. Again, don't get me wrong, to each their own. There's many paths to God in my, in my opinion. But in that exploration, you're gonna find good, like the good things, and you're gonna also find evil, right? Then on top of that, we also have society, we have music, we have the way that our, our world is living right now. And it's not the most healthy, it's not the most spiritual healthy. On top of that, there are 
I don't want to say demonic energies, but something very similar. For lack of a better word, I'm going to call them demonic energies that roam this earth. They influence our culture. They influence our society. They influence the powers that be. And if you are not every day or often spiritually arming yourself and you're listening to the reiteration of this repeating, like, sounds like or like if you're not list if you're if this is what you're listening to that becomes your mantra the mantra becomes a part of your spirit and that becomes you so when you get frustrated or when you your intentions start to shift and move like a snake kind of like maneuvering you don't realize and this is not just you you guys like this is like whoever is doing this you don't realize that your intention that was once pure can then be something very malicious can be very evil because you're under the influence of not the light, but of the dark. And what I'm seeing right now is that at this moment in time, something dark influenced a blessing for the collective in some way, shape or form. It doesn't have to be someone intentionally lighting a candle or writing a petition against you. It could be the fact that they saw something that you, that you had or something that you were, they sensed it. If it's not them, it's the spirits that are attached to them, the energies that are attached to them that sense the blessing over you and they started to agitate their spirit and pull out of them like a word or a song or something or just something that they say, which believe it or not, even though they're not, they may not be claiming to, to, to um, say a petition over you or saying that they're a witch or saying anything which i'm not saying that witches are bad because i myself am a witch right but what they said and the energy behind it pull is now pulling is draining i that's literally like a drainage here i hope that that makes sense like i literally hope that that makes sense you guys please let me know down in the comments um we also there's also last thing i want to say there's no need for anyone watching this video right now to be afraid there's no need all right, don't panic and be like, just what do I do? Like, just literally you can reverse this by continuing to speak prayers over yourself every day. When you start your day or when you go to bed at the, at the end of the night, you can light healing water candles. Like I've had this going. I swear this protected my, the energy of this was just another thing that was protecting my home during the hurricane. There is a huge protection over my home and I speak that still now to this day. So these are things that it's like, if you know what you're working with, you can you can spiritually arm yourself and there's no need at any point to have any inkling of fear, all right? If there's one thing that you can take from my channel and the time that we have together, you're, you need to know how powerful you are and you need to know what you can do, all right? And that there you should never have fear. You should always walk away from my, my channel empowered, not because... I speak in fluff and clouds and unicorns and fairy. No, I've never been that. I've never, literally, that's not that. I don't come on here and, you know, like, I speak the truth always. And the truth is not always bad. It's not always negative. There's good truth. Like, there's, it's just the truth. The truth is the truth. All right, Spirit, talk to me about Eight of Wands and Six of Cups. I almost want to be like, what the hell? Like, someone, I heard someone, like, look at their phone and be like, what the hell? I don't know why I'm seeing like a bowl of cereal. <laughs> I'm seeing like a bowl of cereal. Random. What is the Eight of Wands and the Six of Cups? What's that about? Hierophant and the Death card. Interesting combination. Some of you guys um, are hearing like someone or you need to respect boundaries. Some things are called off limits for a reason. Respect that. Stop trying to force your way past it. You're playing with fire. It's no bueno. Like, really no bueno. We have the sun card here and the three of pentacles. Wow, that freezes everything. Guys, some people still don't have power. My house has had power since the storm. But there, I have neighbors that are still burning coals in order to cook. I'm telling you guys, spirit is so protective. Because I we had power almost immediately afterwards. But there's still people in my neighborhood who don't have electricity. There's like only one, you know, explanation for the fact that I'm good right now. Okay. Ten of Pentacles is showing up again. Talk to me about Ten of Pentacles before I flip these cards, please, Spirit. 
This has a lot to do with like, I heard your legacy. Okay guys, I heard you're capable. I clearly like audibly heard spirit say, the divine say you're capable. This means that you guys are not doomed. Spirit is telling me this so strong, you guys. I like feel a surge right now. Um, Oh my God, I just, I'm really like feeling this right now. Spirit says you are not doomed to repeat the patterns of the past. Let's say you have, oh my God, I, I'm like overwhelmed right now. So, because this is a really strong message. Spirit is saying like, let's say you have a history of a generational curse when it comes to money. You are not doomed to repeat that I just heard it's not it didn't it's not going to impact you i specifically heard that it's not meant to it's not going to impact you you have to understand that the more that you call in a different outcome literally the more that you call in a different outcome the more that you change the outcome you are not doomed to repeat that let's say you come from a family of divorce you're not doomed to repeat the divorce let's say you come from a family that has high blood pressure you have the tools you are capable you are capable of fixing that you need to come to me spirit is saying come to me i will help fix it i will help rectify it i will help erect it this means that i will help push you into a position where you are standing upright where even if things are like crazy around you or things may seem like they're there to take you down. I will hold you upright. The foundation, the roots are so strong. You are embedded in me. You are embedded in my truth. You are embedded in my power. With me, what can't you do? Ten of Pentacles is literally the the capacity that you have within you in order to change the outcome. If you believe it, it is so. If you believe it, it is so. If you believe it, it is so. If you speak to me, I will make it be so. I know what I have for you. I have plans to help you prosper. I have plans to help you be abundant. I have plans to help you be healthy. I have plans to have help you have healthy life, healthy love, long lasting relationships. You have the capacity to do this. You have the, you have the, the, you're capable of this. You're capable of this. Speak it and let it be so. Some of you guys I, I heard are been lying dormant. You've been, oh my God, guys, I'm like overwhelmed right now with like this message you are you've been lying dormant like a corpse hear me you have been lying dormant like a corpse and and like past dues things that were already dues that were already paid you've been lying dormant like a corpse and dues that were already paid it's time for you to rise up it's time for you to rise up and speak life into yourself and speak life into those roots speak life into your roots okay your ancestors and your generation they have already paid their dues we thank them Thank them for what they have done. Thank them for the, the life that they've lived and the obstacles that they've lived through. But you are not doomed to repeat that. You don't have to honor them by reliving it again and again. You are not betraying them or, or disobeying them by speaking a different outcome over them, over your life. Because when you are blessed, you heal them as well. Don't lie dormant. Don't lie dormant in the past dues. We are here to awaken you. It breaks my heart, Spirit says. It breaks my heart. It breaks my heart. It makes my heart heavy and it makes your heart heavy to see that you are kind of following down a, a specific past, path that re resembles the past. It breaks my heart to see that you are kind of following down a path that resembles the past. Break away from that. Deviate from the normal. Deviate from what is expected from you. Some of you guys are so caught in the web of this is what is for me and you're looking at the wrong thing. You're looking at something that is similar. But Spirit is telling me again, I hear it audibly, you have the capacity to see something different and because you can see different means that you can receive different. Go, I just heard go, 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 run, like run, go to it, go to it. This is the vision, stop looking towards this. I'm getting a revision back of the two of wands reverse at the center at the beginning of this reading and three of wands reverse at the mid of this reading and the three of swords now it breaks the spirits the divine's heart to see you trying to kind of reconcile the things guys that... so of course i'm going off and then my camera just decides and scene so i had to switch cameras but i don't remember exactly what i was saying because i was channeling so i'm just gonna continue on and hopefully um, what needed to be said was heard or what needed to be heard was said. Okay. So 10 of pentacles, I'm getting roots. I'm getting really, really deep roots here. 
and those roots are established by our ancestors, by our past experiences, but the divine now is wanting big time. The divine now is wanting you to speak life. It's like, I, I'm almost hearing like someone whispering, like someone whispering intentions or prayers over the root. I, I actually do this for my fixed candles. Um, there's certain Psalms that I say Psalms from the Bible because that's how I was raised um, and that's how I learned to work my magic through my mother through my grandmother and on both sides but um, there's certain Psalms that I say when I'm fixing candles for my clients and it's like the same overarching um, Psalms meaning like P-S-A-L-M in the Bible right so that just blesses the candle. That blesses the candle, it blesses the oil. As I'm, oh my God, a blue jay. Oh, he's carrying a little acorn, a little seed, how cute. What's he gonna, speaking of acorns, guys, what is he gonna do? Yo, he just buried this air acorn, I shit you not. This blue jay just took a seed and buried it in the grass right in front of me. I swear to God. Why would he do that? Is that what they do? He literally just tucked it into the dirt and like... As I'm talking about roots. Think, look at the symbolism of the oak tree as well. And he just flew off. Wow. <laughs> that was crazy. Okay, look at the symbol of the oak tree. Like, we all know it's about stability. I think it also is, like, longevity, too. But that is the most ten of pentacles. That is the most ten of pentacles plant <laughs> that you could ever. Like, if the ten of pentacles was ruled by, a like, a, a plant, it would be an oak tree. It would. Without a doubt. It would. Um, but that's what I was saying. Guys, that's literally what it was that I was saying. And I would have turned the camera around so you could see it, but then I would like literally reveal my location and I just am dealing with people who just like stalk and stuff like that still to this day. Um, speaking of demonic, inspired, ins inspired by demonic energies, right? Um, that's one of them. But so 10 of pentacles is like when you, just like how I was saying, that when I speak like a, a, a prayer over my fixed candles, just to begin, just to begin, or over the oils, and then I fix them, the same thing is what you're gonna do for the root, literally the root, just like how this blue jay just buried a seed, an acorn seed, um, into the grass right in front of my eyes. So you're speaking a prayer, you're speaking life over that, over the root, even if the root has, has already been established. You praying over it and speaking life over it stirs it to life. It's almost giving me like Fern Gully or Avatar vibes. Like I haven't seen that movie in a long time, but yeah, guys, look. Wow. Wow. The Magician card and the Nine of Cups. Right underneath the Ten of Pentacles. <laughs> I love that. The Magician card, for those of you guys that don't know, is ruled by the element um, Mercury are ruled by the planet Mercury. This is our ability to work our magic, to speak life, to, to say life, like to say the intention, to speak the intention over exactly what it is that you want to happen, the wish that it is that you have, the wish that is to be fulfilled. Some of you guys, if you haven't already done this, you're about to, like literally you're about to. Like I, I'm not one to assume what you're going to do or what you're not going to do, but for a lot of you guys, it, it's like you're going to, the power of prayer, the power of an intention, when it comes to your legacy, some of you guys are like, well, I did this already. And yes, you have to continue to do it. That's something that I feel like I don't feel like the spiritual community understands is like if you do one petition or if you light one candle or if you work your magic one time, that you some, a lot of times you have to continue to do it, not in an obsessive way, but in a way that you're continuing to feed into, you're continuing to fuel. It's not just one and done. Um, I'll share with you guys a story one day when I'm done manifesting this complete vision that it is I have for myself. 
but I'm led to share that story only when it's complete, only because I'm not trying to, you know, mess up the vibe, and it's just something that's going to take my life, not my entire life, but it's going to take a, a minute, you know? Anyways, um, but it's a, it's, it makes sense. You'll know it when I see it. The reason why I'm telling you now is because I'm doing it in my own life where it's not just you you speak one intention or you write one petition. A lot of times you have to continue to, to pray over it. It's continue to speak life over it. Let's see what these cards are looking like. We have Ten of Swords here reversed, Four of Wands reversed, and the Queen of Cups. This is giving me right away that for many of you guys, you can, you still have a really strong spiritual cord not like a not in a bad way it's almost giving me like a vein a vein in your body that talks to you and speaks to you or carries the blood of those things that have of the past like pain stuff suffering ache you guys can still sense it um it's like an artery or something that just kind of pumps blood there and you know that it's not weak, but you know what it has gone through in order to sustain your life today. You can still sense it. You can still feel it. So that's just what Spirit is saying right now. Um, also, Spirit is saying don't get so caught up in the fact that you can sense this. That you make your ability to sense the pain of what has already happened before you. That you feel like you're going to like relive it or it's gonna explode or you know bubble up and spill over into other aspects of your life and it's all gonna be tanked no it's just knowing that you can still intuitively sense what has already happened um period that's all that it is it's just you your ability to sense it that doesn't mean that you have to do anything oh my god here he comes again it's a blue jay I don't know if it's a girl or a guy. He's very bright though, so I'm kind of giving like, it's giving me like masculine energies. Okay, um, all right, next card, yeah. Guys, look, we have justice and judgment. Justice and judgment, okay? And then also page of pentacles. I heard the purveyor of truth. So this is something that you Can deeply sense within your spirit and your I'm hearing again I'm hearing your capacity you're you're capable of erectifying it simply or like fixing it erecting it meaning like making it right some of you guys need to remember that you have been told certain tools in order to fix something and make it better let's say you struggle with mental health or emotional health like you need extra support with that in the past, your ancestors may have to live with that because resources weren't available. But you guys have been made known. You are aware of this vein that can be, be problematic. And yet you refuse to heed the wisdom that has been given to you to fix that problem so it doesn't turn into a bigger problem. If you have been given the tools, why aren't you working with them? Why aren't you using them? For some of you guys, you, I don't know why I'm hearing this, like you're, you know that there are grants out there for your business and yet you choose to get a loan. I don't know why. Why is, like, what's the logic behind that? If there are grants out there for you and it requires some effort or work or whatever and the loan might be faster, I don't know. But like, if there's a grant, go for the grant. If you guys don't know the difference between a grant and a loan, let me tell you. Um, a grant is money that is a lot, like, that is built up and given to people, specific populations of people, depending, people who meet the requirements for it. It's just money given to them versus a loan is money given to you that you have to pay back. You don't have to pay back a grant. There are resources available. I don't know why that's coming through. For some of you guys, you have, um, you know, maybe past traumas and you within your family development or you don't know how to communicate. So you are communicate in a healthy way, not to <clears throat> like beat you up right now, but it's like you have to learn a new way of communication. So there are there's the ability to get free 
counseling or to get an, a counselor and to fix your problem with communication, which has been an ongoing issue within your family, why aren't you utilizing that? Spirit is saying that you have the capacity to fix this. Are you doing everything in your power to fix it? Are you, can, are you investing more in the sickened space? Yeah, we have King of Pentacles here. We have the Moon card reversed and we also have Temperance card reversed. So this is giving me that, okay, oh man. This reading is really intense, but in a good way. I love it. King of Pentacles is very, very rooted. This is Earth energy, Cancer, Taurus. I'm sorry, <laughs> Cancer. Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. Very, very rooted. Very, very grounded. Very, very stable. We have the Moon card here, which is instability. And then we have Temperance, which is instability in order to create stability, right? Because things are changing. So regardless of what is happening around you, the root can be is stabilized. That is your normal. We want to make sure that your rooted, you rooted is healthy normal and not abnormal or unhealthy normal. Some of you guys have gotten really accustomed to a certain comfort zone as far as all women are like this business has or having money is bad in order to get money it has to be a struggle um in order for me to be healthy i have to run <laughs> you know um i can only have this and that's simply not the case make sure that your normal is something that is healthy and is conspiring for good and not actually holding you back can someone please let me know now in the comments what does it mean when, like, do Blue Jays just be doing that? Like, do they just, I'm still thinking about it. Like, do they just be, do they just fly around and, like, bury acorn seeds? Because if that was, if that was the case, wouldn't there be acorns all, like, oak trees in the most random places? Like, that, that would be, like, an oak tree in the middle of my yard. Oh. Sorry, I had to take a sip of my coffee. All right, so next few cards, we have two of cups and we have wheel of fortune reversed and we have three of wands reversed. Randomly, look at us hanging out. <laughs> look at us hanging out, fam. Look at us, we're vibing, right? Like, we're vi I'm vibing. Anyways, I'm sorry. I was just talking to stuff. So I met up, I randomly bumped into one of the subscribers um, here, you know, one of our Bahati Vibe tribe while I was out with my mom last night just getting wings and watching a live band. Um, shout out to you, honey, um, if you're watching this right now, which I just feel like you are, but it was such a pleasure. Anytime when I bump into you guys in real life and it's not like you arranged it, you know what I mean? That always freaks me out when people like arrange it. But, um, um, but when I bump into you guys randomly, I'm like, oh my God. And I was just telling her, I was like, she was like, yo, like she's, you know, just saying the impact and stuff like that and like how much it means. And honestly, like, thank you. Um, but I was also telling her, I was like, it's so, she's like, I hope this isn't weird. And I'm like, girl, no. I'm like, when I'm shuffling cards, I feel like I'm connecting with you. Like I genuinely feel like I'm connecting with you who is watching this right now. So when I see you, it's so nice to be able to put a face to the energy that I'm tapping into. So it feels like literally when I'm shuffling cards, I I feel like I'm hanging out with my friends. I'm hanging out with my people. So just look at us, look at us. <laughs> All right, um, hi. <laughs> All right, so two of cups, three of wands reversed, and the wheel of fortune reversed. Oh, man. Something about this house. Okay, so there's just a lot about, like, the roots. I, I've always... I see this card. I don't know if it's going to focus. There we go. But I've never really noticed that house back there. It just shows the roots, right? Just super, super roots. I actually don't know the message behind this right now. Like, I'm not going to, I don't like forcing things. So, Spirit, talk to me about Two of Cups, Wheel of Fortune Reverse, and Three of Wands Reverse. Spirit just said, like, go back to the start of this reading. Interesting. Yeah, Chariot.
All right. What I heard is go back to the start of this reading, Jess. They're reminding me of the start of the start of this reading and how sometimes I just heard the word in bed. So I don't know if I said in bed at any point during this reading in the very beginning, um, but apply that message. But Spirit is saying this relationship or this connection or this blessing, you got to speak over. Not only are you speaking a blessing over um, you, but you're also speaking a blessing and writing, speaking a petition or praying for anybody who's connected to this, to this blessing for you, right? Or for the blessing for the both of you. Let's say you're looking for a, an, an amazing job. You need to pray for or set intention for the health and longevity of the business itself that would be the best match for you. Not only is this business or this job going to be a gift to you, but you're going to be a gift to that job. So make sure too, because they need you, like they need your energy, right? Like me doing what is I'm doing today is not only a blessing for you guys, hopefully, fingers crossed, but it's also been a blessing to me. So it's like, we got to like speak life over each other so that it continue, it can continue to show up and can continue to perform. Let's say this is actual partnership because two of cups does represent relationships and reciprocity. I always struggle with that word. Are you praying for your partner? Um, or have you stopped praying? Have you stopped setting intention for them? If you're currently married and your partner's going through something, light a candle for their healing. Light a candle for their ability to communicate. Light a candle for their ability to have clarity. Light a, a, a candle or send it a petition for them to be strong. So something, I'm also hearing like have empathy for what it is that they might be struggling with. Having empathy also means that you're able to show up for them um, and, and show up for yourself. Like continue to speak blessings already. Did you write a petition for the partner and for what they might be going through outside of you? It, I just heard it helps in the long haul. Like, it helps for the long haul. Okay. I'm just still so stunned by the Magician card, Nine of Cups, and the Ten of Pentacles. That is probably one of the best readings that I've ever done here on my channel. Even if it's like, oh, yeah, like... All right. We, the World card, Six of Swords, Four of Pentacles. Exactly. We have the roots here again. Once again, we have roots. Four of pentacles is hardcore roots this ain't going nowhere it's stable it's it's stuck it's here it's that's not a bad thing meanwhile we have six of swords which is going somewhere <laughs> but what this is giving me is it's moving from a darkened space a troubled space into a more positive uplifting space the world card is the end of a dark difficult chapter i'm getting a big strong sense of like a huge gust of wind when it comes to like karma i'm hearing karmic kickback these are things that are just kind of like not that they're lashing out, but they kind of kick out sometimes when things start to make moves. So continue to speak, continue to carry forward, continue. To, let's say, guys, think of a person who is in this canoe right now and every stroke of their, like of the paddle pushes the canoe forward. One stroke of the paddle is not going to continue to move. It might get you off the shore, but it won't get you to your hopeful you know safe destination you have to continue to stroke like paddle in order to get there that's going to be your prayers your intentions the magic that you put for yourself each stroke is very powerful and each stroke carries an intention so continue to paddle your way through this ultimate outcome speaking life over to these circumstances you are very, very powerful in what you are able to do, say, manifest. You are very, very powerful in that. Don't forget that. Okay? Don't forget that. You can speak life over the situation. You can heal the root. You can grow the root. You can... I Watch Avatar. Something about, like, I'm seeing, like, the roots kind of coming to life with little sparkling 
things. I also just heard like a canyon, like something kind of like exploded at some point back in the, in the, back in the day. It might have singed the roots back then, but the ash somehow became positive over time and now it's like you can speak life back into it what once destroyed and singed the past the root is still there and can still come back to life it can still but you and somehow even the ash became beneficial at once what killed it sit with that all right my loves thank you so much the divine wants you to be so blessed the divine wants you to live your most best life you are capable i keep hearing it audibly like i keep hearing it you are so capable you have the capacity to to to, to bring this to life i'm sending you guys all of my love i hope that this reached you at, with divine timing i hope that this has been a blessing for you i hope that this has been a key for you don't give up never give up be consistent be persistent in your intentions okay i'll see you guys in my next video please give this video a thumbs up make sure that you are subscribed to this youtube channel because there's plenty more videos where this came from plenty more messages where this came from and i'll see you guys in my next one bye